Welcome back to Between Bells, everyone. MS in Harmony is a new informative space where people can discover the positive effects music therapy has on the disease multiple multiple sclerosis. And joining us now to discuss their new initiative is award-winning actor, singer, and songwriter Ben Platt and his sister-in-law, dancer, choreographer, and actor Courtney Platt. Ben and Courtney, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. So Courtney, this initiative is really personal for you. What was the inspiration behind MS and Harmony? Um, I was diagnosed when I was 23 years old. And uh, when I was diagnosed, my first question to my doctor was, what effect is this going to have on my dancing? Am I still going to be able to move? And she said, the most important thing for you to do is to keep moving. Um, so when Bristol Myers Squibb, Squibb reached out um, about this initiative, I was, I couldn't say yes fast enough. Um, music has always been such a driving force in my life. And so to be able to do something that um, will help individuals with multiple sclerosis, uh, their caregivers, um, their family members, uh, it's, it's really been a blessing. And Ben, what is music therapy and how is it being used in this initiative? Totally. So music therapy has been used for a long time in conjunction with treatment for MS. Obviously, uh, it's a, an additional supplementary piece to, to being medicated in, in many different ways, as, as Courtney calls it, the snowflake disease. Everybody <laughs> has a different situation with their MS. Um, but this is all about making that music therapy more accessible and giving uh, anybody who wants to a chance to explore how music therapy can be helpful with multiple sclerosis. Um, it's, you can find all of the material on msandharmony.com. Uh, basically, the two of us got to be involved in all these different modules, these little lessons, along with a music therapist um, that use breathing techniques, vocal techniques, movement and dancing techniques, uh, all with the goal of keeping the mind and body in harmony with each other and helping you to get back in touch with your motor skills and your memory and, and a lot of the things that people with MS struggle with. Um, and we also like to remind everybody that it's you don't need to be a capital S singer, capital D dancer <laughs> to involve yourself with this material. It's super accessible for everyone. Um, and as somebody who, you know, is a loved one of someone who has MS and is, is um, kind of on the outside of this experience sometimes, um, I, uh, it's hard to sometimes feel that you have an understanding of the experience or that you can offer real support uh, in, in a way uh, with something that you don't fully understand. And so what I loved about this particular initiative and with music therapy is that it's something that I think can affect everybody's mind and body, not just people with MS. So anyone, uh, the loved ones, the caretakers, anybody who's involved uh, or whose life is touched by MS in any way can find um, a lot of comfort and a lot of really effective treatment, I think, from, from, from the site um, and can enjoy the power that music has to emotionally and physically change your state of being. Um, and you can I watch us. I love that. It sounds so incredible. Um, Courtney, I wanted to ask you, how has MS affected your body and how has music therapy helped you through this challenging time? I mean, it's affected my body in many ways. I've had um, a few relapses, um, but I would say my day to day, you know, sometimes I forget I even have it. And then some days I'm out. Um, I, I would say fatigue definitely uh, affects me the most, um, which when that fatigue takes place, that's when the cognitive issues um, start to uh rear their ugly head. Um, and so, um, you know, you could see it on the, in the modules, like they give you, um, many resources to, you know, remember your grocery list or, um, you know, re, uh, help you with your balance. Cause sometimes MS affects your balance. Um, me personally, I have a hard time, um, uh, you know, meditating or trying to, you know, um, keep my anxiety down. And there are so many different tools um, that music therapy uh, has that can help you with that. Ben, I love that you mentioned that this is something that can be available for the whole family in addition to those who are suffering with MS. So do you have any particular favorites as far as the lessons go that you go to? I heard from Courtney that she enjoys the anxiety ones as well. Totally. I one that I got to do uh, with the music therapist is um, sort of a memory, a recall exercise for remembering um, either names or, or uh, from my example on the website is remembering all of the months of the year and how many days are in each month. Um, and I got to write a little song, like a little ditty to go along with that information because it helps in, in giving something rhythm and giving it melody. It sort of 
gives your brain a better chance of recalling it even when you're having cognitive issues or, or difficulty bringing up certain words and certain um, facts. And you know, even as someone that isn't up against MS, I, I love those devices as well. So to get to put little things to song like things that I want to remember or my aunts and uncles names as well, I made one of those <laughs> on the site. Um, that, that was probably my favorite. That's so cool. I feel like everyone can relate to that, especially during this time of social distancing and doing things over Zoom, especially with family members so that you remember their names when you finally see them in person. Um, I do want to switch gears here, though, because then we know the pandemic has hit Broadway really hard. We were actually trolling your TikTok and looking and seeing that you posted this video. Um, it said that you um, were going crazy during the pandemic with Broadway off Broadway during this time, singing something from Wicked. How have you been pivoting during this time um, when Broadway is down? You know, it's I've been trying to spend a lot of time making. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've been trying to spend a lot of time uh, making music and singing. Um, I, I've been working on an album for this whole pandemic that'll come out in in the next couple months, which I'm very excited about. Um, but just trying to find creative outlets and ways to make music and perform for myself and for my family and just in my own home to remember the joy of that. Um, and I was also, you know, very fortunate enough to get to work during this time uh, with a lot of safety protocols uh, on the Evan Hansen film adaptation, um, which is one of the first studio films to go during COVID with um, all sorts of very heavy protocol, uh, which was definitely a challenging, a little bit of a scary experience, but such a joy to get to invest in something during this time when I know so many people are trapped and stuck. Um, uh, but certainly just remembering creativity and being able to lean into music and and joy has been the way to get through this for me. Congratulations on the movie adaptation. We look forward to seeing that. Courtney and Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Award-winning actor, singer, and songwriter, Ben Platt, and his sister-in-law, dancer, choreographer, and actor, Courtney Platt. Thank you again.